In the first two days of Plain Air Easton, artists are endorsed to paint anywhere on the Delmarva Peninsula. This allows the artist limitless landscapes of inspiration in the early days of the competition. During the following two days, artists are only to paint within Talbot County limits. Today, we thought to bring you words from the artists themselves on their creative process. I like when things happen real fast in, a, in about the first uh, 10 or 15 minutes, just getting it designed and, and laid in. That's my favorite part. But there's always a period where painting uh, has to look a little bit ugly before you can start pulling it together. I like doing this. You know, watercolors, I've been doing them for so long. Too old to change. <laughs> makes it a little slower sometimes because I like articulation on them. I get surprised all the time too, just I'm sure everybody does that, you know, you see something somebody would choose and you think, well, I, I never would have thought to do that, you know. But, you know, that's everybody's, that's what makes everybody's pictures different and that's what makes the whole thing so interesting. Oh, you right. see what everybody else has chosen during the week, you know, when it gets to Friday night and you see all the stuff on the wall and you're like, you know, I saw that and I didn't think I could make anything of it. And then such and whoever, such and such made a beautiful painting out of it. In the years past, the headquarters of Plain Air Easton has been located at various shops and coffee bars within the town of Easton. This year, the Avalon Theater has transformed into the new headquarters of Plain Air Easton. What we wanted to do was make a place where you, know, you could see the work of these unbelievably talented artists all week long. The transformation is really quite amazing. Um, it feels like a very warm, very well lit uh, gallery space. I think it's fantastic. I think it's another venue for uh, artists to sell art for the venue to gain publicity. One of the neat things about the gallery is that if someone comes in and they see something around that they like here, uh, we can let them know uh, exactly where that artist is painting. Later on, we will show you an exclusive view from behind the artist's easel, offering select tips to various aspects of plein air painting. Oh, 